Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube preview for your Instagram stories. So you've posted a video on YouTube and you want to add a preview of it to your Instagram story. Today we're going to go through an easy step-by-step -step on how you can do this with just Canva, your video file, and some software you already have on your computer. This method is not only super easy and fast, but it's also great because you can actually use your video file instead of having to use a link to a video that's already uploaded to YouTube. This is great if you like to batch your content well in advance like we do. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need is our video file. And we're going to trim the video file down to however long we want it. So there are a few different options here. I just like to keep things really simple and trim mine from the very beginning to the 15 second mark. And I do 15 seconds because that is the length of an Instagram story and that works perfectly for me. But this part really comes down to personal preference so it really depends how you want to clip your preview for Instagram. If you're keeping things really simple, I'll show you exactly what I do. But if you're planning to create a longer preview or create a video for IGTV or just completely trim the video into different parts, so it's like a full edited 15 or 30 seconds or whatever you're doing, then that might be a little bit more complicated and you may need to use an actual video editing software to do that. But today we're just keeping it really simple and I'm gonna show you how to do just the first 15 seconds. So I have my edited video here. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a copy of it just so I don't accidentally ruin the final file. You can right click if you're on Mac, probably Windows 2 and make a copy or duplicate your file. And I'm gonna work from the copy here. So I'm gonna open this up and if you're on Mac, this is going to open up instantly on QuickTime. And QuickTime makes this really, really easy. I'm gonna show you how to edit it in QuickTime. If you are on Windows, you'll want to open your video in the Photos app. The Photos app is something that you should have on your computer. So just right click on your file and make sure you open it in the Photos app. And from there, there should be a little edit icon and you can actually do a really similar trim to what we're about to do in QuickTime in your Photos app under the edit icon. So whether you're using a Mac or a Windows, you should have some built-in software to make this really, really easy. So like I said, I just do the first 15 seconds because it just keeps it as simple as possible. And that's usually enough to fit my intro in. Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to talk about a few ways that you can get more people from your Instagram to visit your website. If you're on Instagram... Okay, so I could either chop it there, but I'm just going to do the full 15 seconds. Nice picture. And make sure you're at the 15 second mark. And I'm gonna click split clip in QuickTime. And so this is gonna split it at the first 15 seconds. Just click on the chunk at the end and I'm gonna hit the delete key and that's going to remove everything else. Click done and now you should have a 15 second video. So in Windows, this is gonna work a little bit differently. I believe you click edit and then click trim and then you actually drag the slider at the bottom to decide which part you want to trim. I will link a tutorial that I found on how to do that below. It is really simple, but I don't have a Windows computer to show you on. So if you're trying to figure out how to trim your video on Windows, there is a simple way. I'll link it down below. If you're on Mac and QuickTime, you should have your 15 second video all done and you'll just want to save this. So for me, this is just going to save as a new one, but I'm just going to save it in in the right place and just make sure it's labeled correctly. Cool, so I'm gonna go and delete the stuff I don't need. And now I have my 15 second clip ready to go. So that literally takes like 30 seconds and is so easy. Then we're gonna head into Canva to create the actual Instagram graphic. So I'm gonna click create design and we're gonna choose Instagram story. You might need to search it. And this is gonna give us the perfect size for Instagram stories. And it's also gonna give you some templates to choose from. So you can use templates if you want. I am on Canva Pro, so I do have access to all of the templates, but you can still do this on the free Canva, you just won't have access to all of the templates that I'm looking at. You can search for some templates that might actually work for your preview. So there's a few that show up here, which actually would work pretty well. They're pretty cool looking and they have like little video previews. 
But if you don't have access to any of these, I recommend just starting from scratch and adding in some elements from the elements panel. You can use images, lines, shapes, graphics. So I will set that up now. This is just a simple layout that I've come up with with a new video title and then I put the title of the video in here. For this video it will be how to get more people to your website from Instagram. And so I'm just going to use this as a bit of a template. So I'm just going to keep the design and repeat it every time I need to create a new video clip. So this is just going to make it really fast and simple for me to come in here, change out the name, change out the video and update the background if I want to. So it will be really fast and easy in the future. I also have left quite a bit of blank space down the bottom here because I'm uploading it to Instagram. So I do want to add a link sticker at the bottom so people can click directly from the story to the video. And you'll see here I've used this frame with rounded corners. So you can use different sorts of frames under elements and then click on frames. And there are a ton of different frames you can choose from here. And essentially we'll be putting the video inside. And you don't even have to use a frame, but I do like the rounded corners. So I'm using the frame feature. So that is really easy. The next step is just upload your clip to Canva. So you can do it by just dragging your clip in and it will immediately start uploading under videos. It will also place itself right in the middle of your document probably. So I'm actually just gonna delete it and wait for it to upload here. And then we can click and drag it into our frame. You can double click and adjust it within the frame if you want to, to get it exactly how you want it to be. But once you've added the video, that is it pretty much done. You've added your 15 second video preview and you have your story all together. There is an optional extra that I do quite like to do, which is add some background music to it. So under elements again, you can scroll down to audio. I'm not sure if this is available for the free plan. You might have to pay per track, but there is tons of music and different tracks to choose from here. So to preview or add a track, just click on it and you'll hear it straight away. And that automatically adds it to your design, which is really cool. But if you are planning to use music, you do wanna make sure that the music is quieter than what's in your video. So you can adjust the volume by clicking on the volume of the music and you can either turn this down a little bit if you want to. And you can also adjust your video volume by clicking on your video and then clicking the volume key again and turning that up. And to preview it all together, you'll just wanna click on the play button at the top and this will preview the music and the vocals so then you can actually adjust if you need to. So just play around with that until you're happy. Obviously you don't need to add music or if you already have music in your YouTube video, you won't wanna add any more music in Canva, but that is just a really cool, easy feature to make the video even more professional. So now all you need to do is download it and upload it to Instagram. So click on the download button, choose MP4 video and download. Because this is a video, it will take a little bit longer to download, but once it's downloaded, you can check it out in preview. So now we just need to get this video onto your phone and upload it to your Instagram story. If you're on a Mac, I highly recommend using AirDrop, but you could also email it to yourself or you could use Dropbox or Google Drive to link the files to your phone. And it's as simple as that. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.